Hey guys, welcome to my live. Finally made it on here. Um, so let's get started. Let's get spiritual, as I said. Okay. I'm gonna s actually. I'll start with my dragon deck because it is it's still sort of in the new Chinese New Year. So. the book on there so that you guys can see now the shuffling and asking the universe dragons have any messages for us and water dragon creates the foundation for new growth a fresh start is coming with new opportunities N nurture your ideas and harvest the abundance I'm going to do two more cards and then I'll move on to the crow tarot with a brief break between and doing a lucky dip. Okay, Rainbow Dragon brings the leap of joy that opens new doors. Have trust. Re rediscover wisdom expect miracles accept opportunities <laughs> there's a dragon on the TV screen that's pretty divine last card and then we'll do the lucky dip Alpha Dragon Harness the divine masculine power of creation. Destroy the old. Visualize your dream. Help to manifest a new world. Now we're doing a lucky dip. You have to be accept the cards that you're dealt because this is a miniature little card deck here, not tower. It's a normal playing deck. Okay. Like I do the cards, I'll do three. Oh my god, it's so hard just to get one thing.
Unity. This has a message on it. Forgive yourself for not knowing what you didn't know before you learnt it. Some daisies on there. And a lot of rainbow colours. It's nice and pretty. Okay, now to the crow deck. cards. Let's see what the crows have to say. Shuffling. Seven of pentacles or coins whatever you prefer but in this book it says pentacles okay sorry it's way back in the book seven of pentacles upright <clears throat> The crow rests after embarking on the difficult task of gathering a treasure trove of bright reflective coins that will adorn her nest and make a protective space for her fidgings. The seven of pentacles asks that you think of, uh, think about the long term when investing your time and energy. Although quick short-term gains may be had, in the end they, not, they will not last. Only through hard work and planning will you discover lasting benefits from your work. Oh, so that was that one. I'll give you guys... So it's the... F First big paragraph there. Okay, now we we'll move on to the second call from the Crow Tarot deck. What do the crows have to say? Hmm? Judgment, but reversed. I'll just show you guys the card. Judgment and it yeah, reversed. Judgment <clears throat> reverse, so I don't need to say any of that bit. When the judgment is reversed, it may suggest that you are not the one in control of your decisions, or that you have been given up. Uh, you have given up power. It may also point to a time of being overjudgmental, and as a result, you are missing an opportunity. So it's this last paragraph here. That was just the card I just read out. It was judgment card reversed. Now we're going to the last card and we'll finish off with three more lucky dips. 
sorry this live is just being so short, it's just pretty late in the night for me. Ten of Wands upright. <coughs> From the distance, <coughs> sorry guys, <coughs> there we go, I had to clear the frog in my throat. <laughs> From a distance, the ten of wands didn't appear so big to the crow. However, once committed to carrying the wands, the crow quickly questions whether or not it made the right choice. And if it is now unable to manage the task was the treasure worth the effort this card is a me message of caution you may have taken on responsibilities that could prove to be bigger burden than anticipated the ten of wands also may reflect on uh, reflect an inner strength that will assist you during a time of struggle. So it's this big paragraph from the title to of struggle. Thank you so much, Nina. Okay, now I'll do a lucky dip. Packing these cards away. Put that in there. Can't forget that card. Oh yeah, that was the last card I just pulled. Just to give you a last look of it. Okay, now three lucky dips. Okay, self care is needed. Um, like it can even be a spa day. Um, go get your hair done, nails done. For men, it could be even get a massage done. Or just relax with your partner and watch some TV. Just have some self time. Self time can be done with others as well. It doesn't have to be self. I know it's self care, but I I feel I feel more relaxed when I'm relaxing with a partner. Come on, just want one item, please. Butterfly bracelet. Hmm. Me message coming through. Um. Sorry, this one's a little bit harder to. Let's get an issue intuition about. Okay. Getting the vibe of love one coming in. Saying remember of the old times, how you used to be so free. They want you to return to that, return to being free and not worry about what others want from you. Okay, one more item.
time to break the chains. Get out of a bad job, move to a new one or get out of a toxic relationship, whatever it is, you need to break the chains. Yeah. Before it affects your family. Alright. Thank you guys. I'm sorry it was such a short one. This is really late where I am. And I thought I'll just get on here quickly and do one because... I normally do one every Saturday, but I only did one on Facebook last time. I didn't get to do one here. Got too late. Um, but yeah, this is just a, to make up for that. Hope you enjoyed, and yeah, if you missed this or you missed any of this, um, the links in my bio for my YouTube account, I upload it mostly straight away. Sometimes it's the next day. But yeah, hope you enjoyed and remember to always stay spiritual.